Oftentimes, when using the Pythagorean theorem, we have square roots that are included in the side lengths of a right triangle. When this is the case, we end up squaring expressions that contain whole number parts and radical parts. In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to square an expression that includes a radical. So let's look at a first example. If we have something like 4 times the square root of 3 as one of our side lengths, and we're going to square this, since this 4 and the square root of 3 are being multiplied, we can distribute this square to both terms. So really what that's going to look like is it's going to be 4 squared times the square root of 3 squared. Well, the 4 squared is no different than 4 times 4, so it's going to be 16. But when we square the square root of 3, the squared and the radical cancel out, and we just have a 3, so we end up with 48. Essentially, what you can do to make it easier is square the coefficient out front here, square the 4 to make 16, and multiply it by the number inside the radical, and that will give you 48, the same as we had a while ago. Okay, let's look at a couple more examples. What if you had 7 times the square root of 10, and we want to square that thing? So, we're going to square the whole part, 7 times 7 is 49, and we're going to multiply it by the number under the radical, so 10. So that's going to give us 490. Okay, let's slide over and do one more. If we have 8 times the square root of, oh, let's say 5, and we're going to square this stuff, 8 squared is 64 times the number inside the radical is 5, and that'll be 320. So I hope that helps you in answering the question, how do I square a radical?